Hey, I'm Jay Gregg, and on today's show, we're in Cross, South Carolina at Blackbriar Plantation. We're going to do some quail hunting. Joining me today is my good friend Matt Hyman from Hyman Paper, and we also got the mayor of Monts Corner, Bill Pigler. Stay tuned, it's all coming up next. with Jay Gregg. Molly. It's a nice morning with no wind, Already? so they ought to smell them really good. Those birds are in there. They don't ever fly where you want them to, though. Find him, Sue. Find him. When I find a bird, I'll hide. Here it is. And he's going to the woods, guys. It's a pretty red. Oh, man, that sun is right. Go ahead, Ed. It's going to come your way. Oh, come back here. Help. First shot of the morning. Joining me now is Alan Weiss. Alan. Jay, good to see you. Pleasure having you here. Tell me about Black Bar Preserve. Well, uh, Black Power Preserve, uh, first of all, I'll tell you a little bit about Black's Camp. Uh, you know, we've been a leader on the uh, accommodations uh, around the five counties of the lakes for about 50 years, and we're uh, proud to take this opportunity to bring on and introduce Black Bar Shooting Preserve, which is a quail preserve. We do turkey and deer, but we're primarily doing quail right now, and it's uh, owned and partnered with me is Bill Pigla. Um, Mr. Bill, Jay Gray, good to see nice you. Nice to meet you, Jay. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved in Black's Camp, Black Briar. Well, actually, Alan is my first cousin, so don't hold that against me. But um, <laughs> Alan and I, uh, you know, uh, of course, he lives across the street from me here, and and uh, this is family property, and and um, we just you know, were sitting around Black's Camp one day, and he brought this up, and it sounded like a great idea, and we've done a lot of things to try to to make it a. a a quality experience. We have different degrees of difficulty that you can shoot in. You can shoot in the fields. We've got some trees that have been thinned, so, and the area has been cleaned up. So if you wanted to have the experience of shooting birds and in, in within the pines, like the old hunts, you get that too. So, Alan's uh, you know got quality dogs, and the system that he uses with the Johnny houses is just tremendous. And um, you know my my, my involvement with the community is not only with Black Briar, but um, I'm a practicing attorney and also the mayor of Monk's Corner. So you're the mayor of Monk's Corner? Yes, sir. Yes, no sir. Kidding. I'm proud of it, okay? And, uh, you know, Monk's Corner has grown 25% since I've been the mayor, and we're in the middle of um, building quality of life programs there. We're trying to build a regional recreational facility to bring children to, you know, have a place to play and to bring the parents into the town so that the business people uh, will uh, be able to, to prosper. and trying to get a hospital now and Monk's Corner is growing tremendously. Leaps and bounds. I tell you, it's a beautiful town. Beautiful. And we're strong on recreation. So, and this is part of the recreation. We want to bring people to Berkeley County because it's a beautiful place to live. We got the national forest, we got the rivers, we got the lakes, and we got excellent hunting here. And we just hope that you'll have a wonderful time today. Well, let me brag on Monk's Corner once again. Um, one of our sponsors, uh, Berkeley Outdoor Marines over, over there. Yes. Uh, Clint Stewart, they're good friends of ours and sponsors. And uh, their little store's growing so big now. I mean, it's, the road's coming right by them, and they've added on. It looks really good down there. Wonderful, wonderful. Come. Ho, ho, ho. All right. He did that quick. Good shot, man. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> Way to All go, right, bud. Get that dead bird, dead. Way to go. Dead. 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 Nothing like twisting a journey. Dead. That's right. It ain't took us but a couple hours. We finally got one. All right, I got one right here. All right, come on up. There's a, right, hey, ooh, there's a bunch of them up here. I'm a, I'm a flush. All right. I got two 
Three right here. Three right here. Three right here. Four. There they come. There he goes. Ned. Good shot. Ned. Ned. Here's one of him to flush him. He ain't flying too good. Matt, well, if they go in there, it'll be all right. Oh. Go on behind us. Oh, there's another one. Good shot. Good shot. I hope you do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that yeah, was I good shooting. Right good shooting. Now I'm just saying, don't forget that over there. Oh, I need where well, You got him marked where we can pick him up. Uh, I need well, yeah, he's, he's right there. Sue should. You need to find him where you can, because if you don't, you won't find him. I'll get Sue over there one. Bama, come. Come on. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Carolina Outdoors from Cross South Carolina at Black Briar Preserve. Today's show is brought to you by Kencraft Boats, maker of Sea King saltwater boats and Bay Rider skiff boats. Visit online at www.kencraft.com for a dealer near you. Going to get the dogs a break. We'll change up some hunters, hopefully. I brought my big guns out, Matt Hyman. <laughs> hey, Jay. We've, uh, we've had several coveys rise on us, but it was uh, kind of chaotic at the point. But uh, Mayor got him a few birds. I tend to miss my couple birds I had a chance to shoot. Well, they get tough sometimes. They do. They do. And uh, thank you for that, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Covering for me. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you do with Hyman Paper. Well, I, uh, I just started working for uh, my dad's company, Hammond Paper and Chemical, back in uh, last January. Um, I'm a salesman for him. I, uh, I work a little bit in Florence and Columbia. We're a uh, janitorial supply company. Um, my mom and my dad actually started that company back in 1979, um, so it's about to be uh, 33 years old. Um, just the two of them started it now. I think they got about uh, 29 different employees. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm lucky, I guess, that, uh, that they haven't fired me yet. <laughs> you just working your way up. Eh? That's right, that's right, yeah, yeah. Well, Black Briar is absolutely beautiful. They have a point right beside us right here. Look at this. We're trying yeah. to do the interview, and there's the point. We're going to try to get on this bird. Alan, there's a bird right there. Let's try to get him. He's running your way, Jack. Yeah, he's coming right here. The dog's going to stop him. The dog will stop him. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. You get left, I get right. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Ooh. That was double. Yes, sir, buddy. A double. <laughs> good shooting, Matt. Thank you, thank you. Head. Matt got us a little double there, didn't we? Yeah, well, I, I tried, I tried. I only got one, though. You got the other one, Birds course. went everywhere. It looked like there was just one, didn't it? We were trying, both of us trying to get that one bird, and two of them took off. But uh, I tell you, that just the way they've got this place planted here at Black Briar is absolutely beautiful. You ever seen anything like it? No, I haven't. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, it couldn't be more perfect quail habitat. You got your planted pines that have thinned out, and then you can, it goes from the, uh, we, we've been in the woods, and then back to the field, back to the woods, back to the field. Something else, too, I want to ask Alan about those Johnny houses. That's pretty neat. Yeah, this is the first time I've hunted quail around any of those before, but uh, I've liked it so far. It's, it's, it's a good setup. Draw. While Alan's in there looking, I was going to ask you a little bit about your shotgun there. Well, I appreciate that, Jay. This is just a, a Browning Satori um, grade six. I got it. It's actually an early Christmas present. And, uh, one of the reasons I got it is I really like the engravings on it. It's got the three ducks. And then you got your Bob White quail, which is what we're actually hunting today. Mm -hmm. And then your English setter. And then two pheasant right there. Um, I actually found this gun in, in Tucson, Arizona. Um, a guy out there had it. Um, they don't make this one anymore, but it was brand new. Still had the box and still had the tags on it. And uh, it's got a super Just deal on it. it. Yep. I um, I never shot over and under until this year, and I got this one at uh, Flood's Palm Shop in Florence. He had it, and uh, I've really enjoyed the over and under. I, I, I've I've never shot with them, and I've, I've enjoyed it. I tell you, some of those pawn shops are the best place to find deals on guns. Yep. You can find some good deals. This is one of the things I like about this place. It's different, you know. Mm -hmm. You got your tall pines over here, your short pines here. Now this is gonna be a little more challenging. Yeah, you can still see the the marks on the pine trees from where they burned it out in years before. Clean them up. Got another bird. There was two in that cubby, so we're gonna try to get this one up. Ready? 
You don't want to get up. There you go. Good shot. Good shot. That's what I'm talking about, Hammond, right there. <laughs> Trying to redeem myself. Hey. Good. One out of two isn't bad. Good. You did good. That's what it's all about. I gotta work on my we brought out some fresh dogs. Uh, it got kind of hot. It's hard to believe for this time of year our weather goes from extreme cold to extreme hot. So we, we took a little break and we've changed out the dogs and that's what we've done now. But um, that was a good little point there. Alan, I appreciate you taking us hunting, man. I declare that we had a fine day. You bet. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I really love doing it. I love entertaining and shooting birds. And bringing people in. Of course, you got the camp, black camp, so you got to love entertaining. True. Tell me about these Johnny houses here. This, this is this is neat. Yeah, Jay, um, I uh, got to board the plans from uh, Quality Wildlife Management, Jim, Mr. Jim Evans over in Georgia, Statesboro, I think it is. And uh, basically all it is is a four by four uh, little building. It's named the Johnny House because of the resemblance to a preview house. Uh, used to, if, I don't know how you are, but you probably don't remember a preview house. I don't. But anyway, the way it's constructed, we have a funnel entry down here, which I usually keep camouflaged with cover so that when they when they return they'll uh, they'll have a little cover from the predators uh hawks and everything else they uh, can get back in there and put a little feed and the uh when we put the birds in, uh, in the house originally uh we ordered the birds we feed uh feed them in there by hand uh we put a little scent on them and feed each one in by hand and that way they know that there's an access there and jay inside here we have a food and water system that's called a no mess system because it minimizes the amount of feed that can fall out as they feed. And it's uh, built and uh, mounted so that it's high enough they can reach it. You have a water system that they're used to from the bird suppliers. It's a dribbler system. So they're used to getting water uh, from that, that way. And we got hay uh, and straw uh, sand in the box. It helps them with uh, uh, turning over the waste and the uh, it helps keep it sanitary, and then the straw helps keep them warm on those real cold, fro frosty nights. To release them, I have it preset most of the time. You unlock it here and go around to the front. Pull your door open, mm -hmm. and they can get out. And they can get out. So um, once they, say you turn loose this morning, just like we did this morning, as many as you turn loose, and uh, we, only, <laughs> we only hit about eight of them. Those, the rest of them will come back to this box with the other birds calling them to it. Exactly. What uh, what uh, doesn't get uh, picked off by a predator? Hawks, owls. Or, uh, hawks, owls, uh, Lord knows what. But uh, over sometimes it'll be an hour, sometimes it'll be two or three days. And they'll, they'll come back to this house and uh, you can start all over again. Uh, and it's a way that uh, it helps minimize the, or helps uh, control the cost. And it helps... Uh, from having to charge a lot more money per bird, right? Because you do have an inventory, you know what you what you got. We've walked a good long way. I'm I'm getting kind of hungry. Y'all got any food up there at Black's we, Camp? We'll see if we can't rustle some up. Let's go eat. Thank you. you. Well, Matt, first of all, I want to thank you so much for coming hunting with us today. Thank you, Jay. Uh, and again, I want to thank you and your father and Hyman Papers for sponsoring our show. Without sponsors, we wouldn't have a show. Well, we're so. happy to do it. Well, tell me this, we were out there in the field talking while we were hunting, you said you have a, a unique way or a, a different way of cleaning quail. You mind showing us? Not at all, not at all. This is just a, a way my uncle taught me. Um, it's, it seems to be quick and easy. Um, you just take and like a dove, you, you pop the wings off. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a quail, their skin is so tender, you can just grab the skin and pull it you just pinched it right in the breast. I just pinched it right in the breast and try to get it all the way around. And then pull down. Most of the time the skin will come right off of the legs. Right off the legs. Then I take uh take my pocket knife and I cut the legs off because the legs is about one of the best places to eat on the quail. They are. That white, good white meat. So you got one leg right there, and then at the end, you finish peeling that skin off and cut the foot off before you cook it, obviously. Got to be a good and sharp knife, too. Yeah, a good knife helps. Um, then once you get the legs off, um, just run your blade right down each side of the backbone. Don't have to really even do it too deep. 
and then take your thumb and dig it in at the top of the breast and then grab the backbone with the other hand and pull off and then you got wow, your breast. Perfect breast. No guts or anything in it. It's just quick and easy. And you got your legs in the breast and now we need grits. Grits, and some little cheese, gravy. And yeah. some gravy and we're set to go. Good to go. Now, I tell you, I didn't get to see that really good. Could you do that about eight more times? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to anytime. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thank you, it. Jay. I hope you enjoyed our quail hunt today here at Black Bar Plantation. If you're looking for something to do with your family, it's right here in Cross, South Carolina. You got Black's Camp. You can go fishing, then you can come over here and go bird hunting. I'd also like to thank the mayor of Munts Corner for going hunting with us to do and letting us hunt on his place. I'd also like to thank Matt Hyman for showing us how to clean some birds and also taking a few for us. Till next week, get out and enjoy your Carolina outdoors.